Hello students, today we will be learning chapter 3 safety and first aid. I hope you must have seen the video of chapter 1 and chapter 2 and you must have understood the topics. Today we will be, we'll be learning chapter 3. Okay? So, before that I request you to open your textbooks and keep it in front of you so that you may relate to the topic. You can see the book as well as the video to get the concepts more clear. Okay, so, shall we start? Chapter 3 is safety and first aid. As you know that accidents cause harm to life and property. They cause pain and suffering. So, being aware and alert will go a long way in keeping you safe. So, first we are going to learn about first aid. What is first aid? First aid is the first medical help that is given to the any injured person before the doctor arrives or before any medical aid arrives. And the most important thing while giving the first aid is to stay calm, do not panic. Okay? And every home or every house should have a first aid kit at home. And what all things should be included in the first aid kit? That is your homework okay that is given in the assignment you have to find out what all are the things should be included in the first aid kit okay so we are going to learn how we can be safe safety first safety on the road is very important we should read and follow the road signs they are meant for our safety na? so always follow safety rules on the road and at home you should understand and memorize these road signs. No entry, no pedestrians, no honking, no left turn, no right turn, no U-turn and where are the speed breakers. These are the road signs are always available for your safety. So, there are some ways to deal with some of the common emergencies. Some common emergencies are for cuts and scratches, for nose bleeds, for sprains, for fractures. So, we will see how we can apply the first aid for them, how we can give them the first aid. So, for cuts and scratches, the germs can enter a body through uncovered cuts and wounds and can cause infection. So, what, are, what is the treatment we can give? That we can wash away all the dirt around the wound. We should wash away all the dirt around the wound. We should clean the affected area with, the, with an antiseptic lotion. And then you can pay, place a thick pad of cotton wool or sterile gauze on the wound and press it with your thumb or fingers. Then you can wrap a sterile gauze bandage around the wound area. Okay. As you can see in the figure, what is a sterile gauze? Sterile gauze is like something, the wet, white fabric that you can see in the picture that is being used as a bandage to tie the wound. Okay. And what is a tourniquet? A tourniquet is a tight bandage that is used for stopping the flow of blood from the wound. And this is being applied like this as you can see in the picture. Now for nosebleeds, you should keep the patient upright in a comfortable position with his head held back. Okay, As you can see in the picture, you should press the bleeding side of the nose firmly, softly. You can keep an ice pack or wet cloth on the nose and head of the patient. We can ask the patient to breathe through his mouth and not to blow his nose. A little bit of bleeding from the nose is harmless. Okay, It is not harmful. But if the bleeding is heavy, you should send for the doctor. Now for sprains, what are sprains? Sprains happens when there is a when the tissue around the joint get torn, okay, it, it get torn, so we call it sprain. Sprain causes swelling, swelling of the part and sometimes discoloration of the skin as you can see in the picture. So, they are very painful. So, for that you can keep or, or keep on applying ice packs or ice cubes on the injured joint till the swelling subsides. Till the swelling goes, you can apply the ice packs. Now for fractures, a crack or a break in a bone you know is called a fracture. So, for the fracture you can keep the patient calm and comfortable and send for the doctor. Okay. 
you, we can apply a splint. Splint means a sheet of a newspaper, sheets of newspaper, magazine, a piece of cardboard or a pillow to give support to the broken bone. It can be applied. As you can see in the picture, there is a piece of a cardboard, a piece of wood is being used as a splint. It give it will provide support to the broken bone. Then there is a sling. A sling is made of from a triangular piece of cloth that can be used for support. As you can see in the picture, both the splint and the sling can be seen in the picture. If there is a fracture of the leg, different ways of bandaging can be done. Okay, and different different parts of the the leg. Now for burns. One can suffer from from burns from hot objects, fire, steam, boiling water, crackers, electric points, and chemicals like acid. So, if there is a minor burn, so what you can do, though minor burns are very painful, they can be treated at home. Okay, if there is a minor burn, so let the running cold water flow over the burn until the pain subsides. Then we can apply an antiseptic lotion on the cream to prevent infection. If the antiseptic lotion is not available, you can apply a paste of baking soda and water. Now, if there is severe burn, there are, you can see the types of burns. There are very painful, blistered, okay, dry, discolored. Okay, so some severe veins. Sometimes the skin gets severely burnt and blisters are formed. Okay, so never try to prick a blister. An open blister is an open wound. Okay, it can catch infection. So never prick it. We can gently cover the burn with a clean piece of cloth or sterile gauze to protect it from germs and dust. If the victim is in a state of shock, give him a warm drink. Okay, never try to give a liquid to an unconscious person. The person is unconscious, never give the liquid. Dip the sterile piece of cloth in the solution of baking soda and use it as a wet compress. Okay, and severe burns must be treated by the doctor. If you can take the person to the doctor, that is well and good. Now, chemical burns, you should first of all remove any clothing from the affected area. Use plenty of water to wash off the chemicals. Now cover the burn with sterile gauze and send for the doctor. Now for fire fighting, what we can do if there is fire around you? In case of there is a fire in the building, just inform the nearest fire station. For that you should have the number of the fire station. Okay. In case of a fire caused by petrol, do not throw water on it. Never throw water. Water will flare up the fire because water is a good conductor of heat and electricity. So there is possible, this is because petrol being lighter than water and water floats up and floats above the water. So it and it keeps burning that is why never put water on there. Put out the fire by throwing sand or mud on it. If the person uh, catches fire, clothes catches fire. Do not allow him to run around in panic. This will fan the flame. The flames will increase. Make him roll on the ground. As you can see in the figure, we can cover a thick blanket over him. Okay, This will help to put out the fire by cutting off the oxygen. If the fire has been caused by defective wiring or, a, or an electric gadget, what we can what happen can happen? This can happen electrocution when we will throw water on it. If we will throw water, this can cause electrocution. Electrocution is normally the electric shock can happen to you okay? or it may cause death also. So immediately you should turn off the main switch, never throw water on it. For to smooth, to smooth the fire, you should throw sand and you can use the fire extinguisher also. Fire extinguisher is a gadget that is used to extinguish the fire, to stop the fire. Now for animal bites, if an animal bites you, so what first aid we can give them? We can wash the wound with the soap and water to remove germs. As the virus which causes rabies or hydrophobia, 
may be carried in the saliva of an infected animal okay so always wash the wound with the soap and water dogs wolves bats cats are known to carry the rabies virus okay so apply an antiseptic lotion to prevent infection ha huh. and you can apply the bandage bandage the uh, tie the bandage over the wound with a sterile gauze rush the victim to the doctor and if the snake bites a poisonous snake injects poison with its sharp fangs causing a lot of pain and swelling so treatment must be given okay immediately as the poison can as a poison can kill so we can apply a tourniquet you know what is a tourniquet a tourniquet is the tight bandage that will stop the flow of blood so just above the bite to stop the flow of blood to the heart okay this may help you to slow down the spread of the poison in the body immediately we can rush the victim, victim to the doctor it is always better to take precautions when you walk through the areas where snakes can be found so always take precautions and walk wear high boots and you can protect your feet if there is poisoning then do do you know that certain things in your house they are poisonous what are these certain things like nail paint nail polish naphthalene balls paints wall paints detergents and some medicines these are poison poisonous okay so remember these rules always keep the medicines locked all it they should not be near the children away from the reach of the little children you should read the label very carefully before taking any medicine destroy all the medicines that have crossed their expiry dates properly wash all the vegetables and fruits before eating them they must have been sprayed with harmful insecticides and pesticides the insecticides and pesticides are, are sprayed when the vegetables grow in the field these are used to kill the insects and the pests so they they may be spread over them so always wash the vegetables and fruits before eating them and in case of any kind of poisoning try to make the victim vomit and take the victim to the doctor so a call away always keep the telephone numbers of your nearest police station fire station doctors and chemist handy so in case if you have an emergency you can call them okay so being alert and prepared will always help you to avoid accidents and handle the emergency so you must have understood how we can apply the first aid let's uh, we can revise it we must obey safety rules on the road and to follow and follow the road signs we can help given to help given to a patient before the arrival of the doctor is called the first aid the first medical help given to the injured person before the doctor arrives never neglect a wound as germ may cause infection any necessary movement of a broken bone can should be prevented treat a burn by washing it with the running cold water and apply an antiseptic lotion cutting of the air supply helps to put out a fire and snake bites must be treated immediately must be sent to the doctor this was the end, end of the chapter now the assignments the worksheets related to the topics question answers and the exercises can be found below in the description box you can find it there so till the time study at home stay safe take care of yourself wash your hands again and again thank you